Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to report this lovely mint monstera. I believe it is small form, yes absolutely. I think most of the mints are, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I'm sure there is a large form, don't get me wrong. I've, I've already set off a line of comments where it's like no there is, there is. But today we're going to report this and I don't know how to feel about this spread of variegation but I'm going to leave them anyway. I probably will cut from some of these at some point by the way. I've potted up one already that I've taken to my house. I think that was a little while ago. Uh, I've got this one and I've got another one which I will actually briefly show you. Where can I put him where he's not going to upset me? I'll put him there two seconds because he is just here. I have this guy that you may have seen blossoming on my Instagram very recently. He's beautiful, isn't he? He is absolutely stunning. But he's very variegated. Like this, for example, is a bit much. So this has come in a little bit better, but I'm, mm, I don't know, it's a bit touch and go. So we'll put him back. Sorry, Ben's just come into the unit and I had no idea what was going on there. So, we're going to repot this. It's going on a moss pole and mm, I'm not happy about this. I'll explain in one second. Let me just do my best to pick this up. So, he's going to go on one of these and I know the other Mint Monstera went on one of these. I've been using a different moss pole recently and it is actually, it's kind of like real moss in like a, a net and I like it much better. The problem is they're sold out on Amazon, which is really annoying. I've ordered them and I guess it'll come to me when they're back in stock, but that's not very good for now. So this is the second mint that I'm putting on one of these, but it's not my preferred thing, just to let you know. So at some point it's going to come back off, and I can only hope I can get it off. We shall see. But I like the other ones because... One, they're made of real moss. Two, they're about this long, so about half the length, and you can just extend them. So you don't have to have, you know, a plant with like a massive pole stuck off the top. You can just wait till it gets big enough and then just add on. I much prefer that. It's not going to work for every plant, obviously, but certainly for a small form, I don't see why it wouldn't work. So that's what we're going to do. Not my preferred thing at all, guys, but we're going to do it. So let's get... Why do I feel like there's loads of pots here? Hang on a minute. This feels very... Oh, stop it. It feels a bit much. Hang on. I've managed to salvage from elsewhere in the shop some of this lovely green Velcro stuff. I must buy some. I must buy some. Um, but I don't have any more. So I've salvaged some from an old plant that's sort of dead. And we're going to use it. So first things, I'm going to get the lecker off this. And I will do it super fast because nobody cares. Like such. Oh, great. As with everything, it's wedged. Oh, don't you just love that? Don't you just love it? I hate this. I hate it when this happens. It's so stressful. There. Okay. Please come out nicely. Please, please, please. Uh, lost like hardly any root. Right. And then, really wish I had not left my hair down today and I tied it up. But it's too late now. I really hope this doesn't look too bad. Shaking off the lecker. All right, let's have a look. Ooh, it's quite good, you know. It's quite good. There's a couple of bits of rot, but it's so minimal. I think there's just like one big old root there that's done it. The rest of it's actually really good. It is in a bit of a chunk, which I'm going to try and sort, but I don't I get a bit nervous about doing that, you know, because I can just snap it and I don't want to snap it. So, oh, I did hear a snap though, <laughs> she says. Yeah, this one's really good. This one's really good there. Okay, that was dead anyway. Bits of old rot. Love that, love that. I'd like to. Have I got scissors there? There's a big sort of brown root here. It's very woody. I'm just going to trim the tip off just to see what's going on. Mm, it's okay. That's okay as well. It's got old rot sort of stuck to it, but not rotting itself. It's like from another root. So I've got that there. Oh, I've got one up here that's gone. Come on, there we go. Most of the time, if I get rot in the shop, by the way, it's because it, it goes slightly too long without, like, I oh, can't speak, I can't speak, I'll try that again. Most of the time, when I get rot in this shop, it's usually due to initially underwatering. So I don't quite get to it and the root dries up a little bit and it, it kind of dies a little bit at the root. And then I saturate it again and then that is basically decaying because it's already dead. Nine times out of ten, that's why I've got rot. But this is looking really quite nice. It's a bit green because that's grown out the bottom and it's grown in a bit of algae but we're okay with it. That's fine. And this is just a big mass. Oh God, I don't want to pull this very hard. Right, there's another root there. Love that. So it's just really this one that's a big mass, but I think it's all right. You know, I don't really see any problems with that. God, I'm quite impressed. That's quite a good, a good turnout for that. So like anything, I'll shake it like that. Love it. Love it. I'll try and move that to the side. Because we don't want, we don't want. Right, and I will lie it down. Now then, same as last week's video, I'm going to use some of my own pond, which is right here. Hope you can see it. This is Nurture System number eight, Nurture Pond. It is the, it's not the same as regular brand pond. It is the same concept, but it is different ratio of ingredients. And 
it's basically coarser grade, which is better for Aroids, Monstera, Anthurium, Philodendron, all of the things. So that's what I'm going to use. So first things first, where is... Oh my god, I need some more blue roll. Hang on. Right, actually, one thing I've almost forgotten about is just to tell you about something really cool I found this month on Skillshare. If you have a specific skill that you're trying to learn, then Skillshare is a fantastic place to start. It is an ad-free online learning community with literally thousands, and I mean thousands of classes. You can probably find a class on nearly anything you want. It has classes from things like, for example, houseplants, anything from like organizing your workflow, learning a new hobby. It really does have something for everyone. So the cool thing I found this week, and I actually couldn't believe how easy it was because it looks really artistic, but it's actually really easy. I found a class from Tin Beja on how to create these literally amazing graded watercolor plant designs, which is perfect if you're a crafty person or even if you just want to paint to relax. I actually really think, though, that these designs would look really good on things like greetings cards or, I don't know, like tags for gifts or stuff like that. They're, oh my god, they look so good. They look so good. Tin takes you through a full demo of painting different kinds of plants. I think there was begonia in there, monstera, alocasia, all of the good plants. If you're interested in classes like these, then the first five 500 people to click the link in my description get one month of Skillshare for free. Absolutely free free. So if you want to try it out, link is in the description. Thank you very much Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Right, okay. Honestly, those watercolour effects actually blew my mind, actually blew my mind. They look so good. I, I might try it for Christmas. I might try it for Christmas. I think it'd be really cool. Not even for greetings cards. You could probably just use them as an actual, like, if you blew one up and did one massive, you could have some really nice, like, prints for your living room or something. Maybe I could do that. <gasps> Maybe I could do it in black because my house is, like, neutrals wood tones with pops of black so maybe i could do like a really giant like monster relief and do the watercolor in black <gasps> in a black frame tell me you're feeling that i'm kind of feeling that anyway i've got completely sidetracked right on with the report on with the report right gonna line this i'll take this out because i know it's very white and it's a bit glaring on camera so i will take this out and we're going to line it with some pond again i apologize for the state of my hair i will just tie it back for future reports because this is irritating me so get some of this like that my pond if you haven't seen it i'll try and hold it up to the camera it may fail me it may fail me but that's what it looks like and i'm gonna line the bottom so i'm not gonna line it too much oh no i'm not gonna line the bottom <gasps> see i got so sidetracked guys that i forgot I forgot what I'm even doing. We're not gonna line the bottom. Why? Because the pole has to go in. And honestly, if you've seen these before, they have little holes in the bottom. And it's best to put your pole in first because you can sort of jam it into one of the holes. Should you? Mm, debatable because it's one of these self-watering, you know, reservoir holes that diffuse into your plant. But I've personally never had a problem. Never had a problem. So it's fine. So I'm thinking to put it on one of these. Oh, it doesn't go in, you know. Well, what kind of shit's that about then? Maybe I should put it... Right, well, I'm just going to have to hold it because it actually doesn't fit into the holes on this occasion. I don't know if it's this particular pole because I swear I've been doing that before. I swear. I swear. So we're just going to have to hold it. That's fine. And I will now line the bottom with pond. So I'll put a hole. Well, it's not really a hole scoop, but I'll put some in there enough to potentially keep it there. And there's a lot of root on this, so I'm not going to get much more in, I don't think. Let's have a look. Let's do a little bit more. Because there really is a lot of root here and I don't want to push it too far. Just tie a bit of that. Right, there's another full scoop. I do like these. I know I've mentioned these scoops before. They're probably quite handy if you're mixing your own soils and stuff at home. This is like an equestrian like feed scoop, but it's so robust because honestly, when you work with horses, everything has to be robust because one kick from a horse and it's dead, if you know what I mean? But it's really, really thick plastic. It's really quite robust. So who'd have thought that there'd be such a cool crossover of equestrian into plants? That's one of them. So I have my hoof brush for getting rid of all the shit out of these grades, and then I have my food scoop to do pawn. What more can you want, guys? Right. So, this is going to irritate me, but I think this should be the back of the plant. I hope you can see this. I'm so sorry. Oh, oh, no. Right, I need to hold that. I think this should be the back of the plant. There's an area root coming out the back, plus there's not really anything coming out the front, so I think that just kind of says it, really. This is the orientation it should be. <gasps> how, how did I get this into a pot? Into a little pot? How did I actually perform that? Wow. You ever wonder when sometimes when you repot something, you're just like, how the hell did this ever work for me? Because that's kind of the vibe I'm getting right now. I'll put that in there. I can't really push it down anymore because I'm going to break something. So that is kind of what we've got. Put them aerials in there. 
That's going to be, mm, it's going to be, mm, going to be about there. Not ideal. Obviously, it will swizzle around a bit. Oh, it's not ideal. This one, guys. I'm going to put it there. Oh, I'm supposed to Velcro it, aren't I? <laughs> yeah, pro tip, Velcro it on before you actually try and repot it because then at least your plant is sort of in the right place. So let me put this round here like that. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. Right, so that will do. I can't show this very well at all, guys. Apologies. But it looks a bit like this. If I hide my little head, you might be able to see what's going on there, hopefully. There's a lot of root. There's a lot of root. And I think we're just going to have to go with that. That's the best I'm going to get. I don't like how close some of these roots are to the top of the... Well, the top of the pot, really, but nothing can be done at this point. It's just going to have to... It's just going to have to be how it lives. That area can go down in there. And I will put this in because it will start to cover the root and then I can take my hands off. Great, love that. There's a big ass root there that's just really close, but oh my God, there's not a lot I can do about it. This is probably gonna look slightly gnarly until it grows into place a bit, but it is what it is, guys. Some more palm, like so. Ooh. Oh my God, it's my hair. I really hope it hasn't been screwing with my mic a bit. Right, what's going on with this? How, how's this occurring? I want that like that and I want the pond in there. I want the pond in there, guys. I want it. I want it. That might be too much pond. That is too much pond. Oopsie. I did an oopsie. I have to take some pond out. That is too much pond. That is way too much pond. Let's try and get that out. How's that? Is that better? There's a gap down there, but there's little roots coming up. Oh, no. I think I just have to accept this one's going to be a bit less pretty. I might not put Decca in this one. And the reason is I don't, I'm not happy with the, the, the potting situation itself. So I might just let it sort of chill out on this pot. And then when it's ready for a repot, then do it. I'm not, not sure. I want that like that. Is it going to stay like that? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. All right, let's try and put it like that. Love that. Right, that's better, I think. When you put things on moss poles, by the way, I actually saw something about this on Facebook the other day. Don't try and put your petioles onto the pole. Only attach the, the merry stem, the main stem. Don't try and secure your petioles. I know it's really tempting. I know. Don't do it. Bad, 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 bad. You're going to end up having an accident. So I think he's kind of in there. It would be nice to put some decor in. However, I just think... Like that root there is going to die because it's too close to basically the world, the air, the outside. So it's probably going to die off, but that's not going to kill the plant or anything. It's just going to have a little bit of die off. I might put another one of these on just to be extra secure. And I'll put it around the bottom, which you will not be able to see the intricacies of this. I can't talk today. Um, but I promise you, I am working hard to make sure that this is not crap, as we say in the UK. So this is very fiddly, and it's one of those things where I can either do it so you can see it and it be shit, or I can do it so you can't see it, but it's great, and I choose greatness, guys. Always choose greatness. Right, I think that's all right. Where's my pot? Oh, I put it back on here. How lovely. Look at this. Love it. So that is, it's a nice sort of size for it, I guess. But this might outgrow this very, very quickly, which it's fine. It's fine. I've got too many Monsera, guys. I, I've told you this a while ago, but I'm on a bit of a kick at the minute. And when I'm choosing plants to take home, I'm choosing Monstera nearly every time. So I have some Anthurium and I have some Monstera and I don't have much else. There is something I will actually show you. Give me one moment and I will put him down because that's him, by the way. He's very cute. He's lovely. He's just, you know, he is what he is. Let me put him down here a second. I really want to show you this. I'm just going to take a, a little moment of me being able to. Let me just put this down. Uh, put that there. Oh my god. Sorry, my microphone's probably going absolutely AWOL. But I can show you the cool thing that I'm taking to my house that I've actually already taken to my house. This is story time for y'all. So let me just reframe super quickly. Super, super quickly. Just tilt that up a bit because it's it's needed. It's needed. Will that do? Yeah, that'll do. Uh, move the blue roll. It's very unsightly. So I do try to be aesthetic, guys, but it, it doesn't work, does it? Right, I want to show you this. And I will explain what happened to him when I pick him up because he's quite heavy. <laughs> He's not in the biggest pot he should be in, but he will he will get there in due course. But I want to tell you a little bit about him. So let me pull him round. Oh my god, I can't move. I'm I'm like literally in an overgrowth of plants. You probably won't see me for much of this. But look at this guy. I'll turn him on his side. Can you see him? He's fucking awesome, isn't he? So this is the beautiful big plowmanii that I repotted on camera a while ago. And I brought him to my house and I, I took a risk. 
because I put them in a really big pot. I knew that was a risk at the time. I think I probably said on camera, look, this is, mm, I, this is not ideal. But I thought, fuck it, it's fine. I'll plant it near the top. And the opposite to what I thought was going to happen happened. I think he, he totally freaked out. I think I planted them so close to the surface that he actually, I suspect he dried out really quickly. And all of his leaves just absolutely flopped. I, what I did was I took him out. As soon as I realized, I let it go too far, really. I took him out and I put him in a bucket, like literally one of these orange buckets of nurture system number three, rapid recovery, right? It's very good for rehabbing plants, obviously, that have done goofed in shipping or, or whatever have you, and everything else. And I put it in that for, I put it in a solution. I kind of left it in that for like three days just to give it a bit of a boost. Then I brought it back here out of the pot. The pot's still at my house in my shed because it's, it's fucking huge. I need to do something with that. I brought it back here and I put it in a smaller, like black pot. It's, it's over there. It's about, it's probably about the size of the previous pot that the Monstera was in. I put it in that. I put it in Lekka and I just sat. I alternated feeding it with number three and number one and I've kept going with it. And when I say it was at a stump, it was. I, it literally had nothing. It was a stump. So what it's done is, this is the newest leaf and yes, it is impressive. Yes, it is impressive. Look at it. Look at it. The root system I wish I could have shown you. I potted this up. Was it the day before yesterday or it might have even been yesterday I potted this up? I, I could have filmed yesterday, but I didn't get around to it. But I potted this up yesterday and the root were insane. The roots are about six or seven times the mass of what they were. Should have taken a fucking photo of it. Never mind. Um, but this is the leaf it gave me first because I know this one's impressive, but it wasn't the first leaf. So all in the spirit of honesty, you can see it's been a chunk, hopefully, and I've pulled leaves off and that's kind of what it is. This is sat high in the pot for anyone that's going to tell me. I know it needs to be in a bigger one, but it's okay for now. I trust it. It will be okay. If it's not, I will fix it. But this is the first leaf it gave me out of the chunk, which commendable, commendable. It's still, it's still fucking huge. But then the immediate size up from this leaf, I don't know if I can do it that way. So you can see if I just tilt this leaf, that's done that. And then it's gone immediately to that. That is the nurture system effect. That's it's, I, I obviously it's good for, for a lot of plants and I know you guys are like finding that out, but there's something very special. I say this all the time. There is something very special about crawlers, okay? Crawling philodendron. It's like, it's like nothing I've ever experienced. And I, I met a few of you at the show, obviously, the trade show, the trade show, the Southport show, a couple of weeks ago now. And y'all were saying like, what the hell is in this? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> it's like, what's going on? So I wanted to tell you that's what's happened. Lovely big roots. I should have taken a photograph. I'm very sorry, but I will allow you to see it whenever I report this basically, because this is sat a little bit high for me. I don't know what's going to realistically happen here. I mean, it's trying to grow up at the minute, so giving it a bit of time to see what it does. But how sexy is that? How sexy is that? That is so nice. But anyway, that's kind of my last little update. I know it's not the Mint Monstera, but I want to tell you about it. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this video, guys. Links to anything I've mentioned today are down below, including my merch in the description if you'd like to get that. I think it pretty much ships worldwide. It's not me doing it. It's from Teespring, so it's not me shipping it kind of thing. And I guess that's it for this week's video, guys. I will love you and leave you. Any video requests, leave them down below. I'll be sure to take a look and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.